Today, we have a very special person with us. It's a very proud moment, not only for the maths department, but for the whole college. From scholar to doctor, we have the first international research scholar of CMS College, Khartoum, Dr. Khamis Abdullah Khamis al Magbadi. Dr. Khamis was the Faculty of Mathematics, University of Technology and Applied Sciences, Sohar Oman. He did his MSc in Mathematics and his application from University of Kent, UK. Master of Education in Curriculum and Teaching Methods of Mathematics Education from Sultan Qaboos University. College of Education, Sultanate of Oman and Bachelor of Education in Mathematics and Physics from Sohar College of Education, Sultanate of Oman. He got scholarship from Indian Council for Culture Relations for joining PhD in India and he joined for PhD in the Department of Mathematics, CMS College Kotem in 2019 under the supervision of Dr. Vargisi Joshua and was awarded PhD in June 2023. You had an N number of options before to do your research. But why did you select Kerala and CMS College? Okay. First of all, I would like to thank you for inviting me here today. I am very happy uh, to be in uh, CMS College today. This is, uh, this is my, my college. Uh, as you know, uh, I am a teacher in uh, Sohar College of Applied Science. Now this college has become to be university. Uh, I have many friends and colleagues in uh, in Oman, in this university, almost all uh, uh, staff or professors uh, from India. So I have uh, a friend's uh, mathematics teachers. He invited me to visit uh, Bangalore in 2018. He encouraged me to study in, U in uh, India. We uh, visit together at Bangalore University and uh, many universities and colleges in Bangalore. I like uh, the system education there. So I applied uh, um, uh, to get scholarship from ICCR, which means uh, um, Indian Council for Cultural Relations. I choose the, the, the first choice is Bangalore University. The second one is uh, Misur University, the third one in Mahatma Gandhi University. And the ICCR choose the Mahatma Gandhi University. So I am very lucky. Uh, I think that God helped me to study here in Kerala. And uh, I study in CMS College. Uh, CMS College is, uh, has good quality in education. So uh, that's why I choose. <laughs> It is said that mathematics is not for common people. Not so many people choose to be a professional in the subject. So what inspired you to be a mathematical teacher? Did someone inspire you in your life? Okay, to be honest with you, when I was a student in school, I like uh, mathematics because of the teachers. Uh, there, is a, there was a Egyptian mathematics teacher who taught me the mathematics. When I, when I solved some difficult problems in mathematics, he encouraged me. Sometimes he gave me some prize. Uh, so that's why I like the teacher, so that's why I like the, the, the mathematics. Besides, besides this, sometimes when um, I solve some mathematics problem, sometimes I spend one day, all the day, to think how to solve this problem. At the end, when I solve this problem, I, I feel that I... I perform some things. So that's I like the mathematics. <laughs> yes. Sir, we are also mathematics students. So uh, can you please tell more about your research? Okay, sir. Uh, the title of my thesis is uh, a study on synthetic behavior of killing in continuous models. Uh, I published, we published uh, five papers in journals. This is uh, my thesis. Uh, and very uh, appealing in continuous models. We deal with th some models. We solve this this system by using MATLAB. It's very interesting uh, 
Thank you, sir. It is very helpful for us. Uh, was it easy for you to switch from a teacher to a scholar? Yeah, it's not easy no, because, uh, because there, are, there, is, there are many responsibilities as a parent and as a scholar. So I have to uh, study very hard, read many sources, and uh, at the same time as I have to take care of my children. But Alhamdulillah, it has become well, Alhamdulillah. Sir, uh, did your teaching experience help in your research? Uh, frankly speaking, when uh, I am a teacher in, in, in Oman, I, uh, I show some classes, I'm sorry, uh, what I mean. I teach my student and sometimes I prepare to teach my students very well. That's helped me when I look for the information. So I have to, um, what I mean, I have to look many sources like books, journals, uh, websites. That's helped me. Also, when I show my presentation in some conference, international conference, I have the uh, skills, communication to deal with uh, with the agents. That's, I think that's helped. Uh, you have been to different educational systems. Uh, you are a part of Indian educational system. You are also been to Kent University, UK, and you are also into teaching profession in Oman. Mm. So do you find any difference in educational systems in India compared to uh, other two? Uh, it is not easy to answer this question, but uh, I will tell you about my experience. Okay. experience. Uh, when I was in UK, I noticed that the professor there, they give the headlines for the students. The students must depend on themselves. They have to go to the library. They, they have to totally uh, depend on themselves. Okay. So it's difficult, not, not easy. In Oman, uh, the professors uh, teach the student and give him almost all details. The student depend on the teachers, but now they 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 try to I mean, encourage the student to depend on themselves. In India, I notice that uh, the system education in, in India, as much as difficult, um, it's um, for the student. It's uh, builds a strong base for the for their future advancement in various fields. My children, uh, I will give you my, my children uh, learn in UK and in Oman and in India. Okay. I noticed that in India, they have heavy materials and uh, my, teach, uh, my children do pass, they have to study hard. So I, th uh, I think, uh, Indian uh, education system in uh, has good quality. As I told you before that you can find anywhere in the world, in UK, in USA, anywhere, Indian people in, on uh, university, in, uh, as uh, professors in uh, hospitals. That means Indian has good quality. I noticed that my children uh, improved their skills in, in communication, in mathematics, uh, as I am a mathematics teacher, I found the courses, the materials in, uh, for example, in the Beza International School. Uh, the course in mathematics is very heavy, and uh, some materials I I can find this in university in Oman, but here in India they in grade uh, ten, my daughter study in grade ten here. So, uh, if uh, I prefer my children to study in India, but unfortunately I have to go to Oman. So, uh, so I prefer uh, this, this, uh, this system in, in India. Yes. Sir, how was your total experience in a CMS? Uh, how was your research doing under Joshua sir and other faculties? Was it smooth or little bit difficult? Uh, to be honest with you, I like the same colleague. 
I like all stuff in Sim School. All people here in Sim School are very kind, lovely, and uh, they respect everyone here. Uh, I like the people first. The second thing, I like uh, all things in CMS College. There is Our many campus. Yeah, campus, many facilities there. The most important in CMS College, I found that uh, there is cooperation yeah. between CMS College and international organizations in the world, such as in Russia. Also, I attended some international conferences in CMS College. That means the CMS College not in local in India, it's, uh, it's global. Uh, I learned many things in, in CMS College. Uh, I am very lucky when uh, Dr. Goshua is my supervisor. He's a pretty, uh, I mean, what I, I, don't, I don't have a word to express a feeling about Dr. Goshua here. He's a pretty uh, human uh, being, I mean, and helped me. Even though he is pretty busy because um, he's the principal of CMS yes, College yes. and he has many works, he uh, spends some time with me. We discuss together. We work as the team. So, so uh, the, all the members of CMS College like my family now. I, I, I think that I, I honest to be I I'm honest I am part of this family. Also all as a family in the same as uh, yes. Uh, you are born in Oman and now residing in Kerala. So was that easy for you to adapt into an entirely different atmosphere? Like here it is some days it is rainy, some days it is sunny. So was it difficult or easy for you? To be honest with you um, India is my the second country. Okay. Uh, I feel that you know, man. Uh, everywhere, I, if I go anywhere, anywhere, I found Indians people. Okay. Indian, everywhere in university, I, in supermarkets, in uh, hospitals, everywhere. Okay. When I came here in India, I found the weather change, the, weather, the climate very very nice. Uh, everywhere, I can the green trees, I found the rivers. Uh, so I like the weather, I like the weather. Also the food, the uh, different types of fruits here yeah. available in India, in Kerala. Yeah. Uh, so my family are also with me in, uh, okay. in, in Kerala. So uh, I, I feel this is my second hand oh. and, and uh, my, sec I'm sorry, my second home and country. So there's no difference here, yeah. yes. In 2019, you came to India. Mm. Within a short time, that is in 2020, we faced with COVID. And how did you handle that situation, that lockdown time? Yes. In that period, I faced many challenges. Uh, I couldn't come to CMS College because of the lockdown. But uh, this uh, problem was solved with by using technology, so I can um, meet my supervisor, my colleagues via Google Meet. So that solved the, the problem. Yeah. Also, I attended many international conferences at that time, uh, uh, like in Moscow. And I, uh, I showed some presentation in these conferences. Uh, also, this period, uh, I, I use this period to prepare for the coursework exams. So I study for how to prepare for the exam. Uh, my family with me, yeah. so uh, family together, together. And alhamdulillah, uh, almost all items are available. Uh, foods available in the same building, whether it's supermarket. So alhamdulillah, that's good. And I communicate with my family in Oman via WhatsApp. Some. So, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, the problems were solved. With, alhamdulillah. Can you give some advice to our young aspiring students? Sure. 
But before that, I would like to say that India is an agriculture country and industrial uh, country. Yeah. And I can find everywhere in the world, in UK, in America, New Zealand, Australia, anywhere, in, in the Arabic Gulf also, many Indian people work in, in the top university, uh, hospitals, as engineering, as doctors, everywhere. What this means? This means uh, education system in India is, is very good and has good quality. So, I advise uh, student, Indian students that you should continue to study. I know that, I am sure, uh, Indian students study very hard. Uh, they, uh, what I mean, you can find some students in some global companies now, like a training. What this means is because, because it's good quality. Uh, in your vision, Oman or our India has more opportunities in education? Uh, what, what do you mean? In your vision, yeah. Oman or our country, India is having more opportunities. Which country have more opportunities in education? Okay, sir. Uh, in India, is more competition. It's not easy to get a uh, job because many competition here. But in Oman, it's easy, not that oh. much. Uh, so uh, I advise the students uh, to to continue to study. They they learn not stop in the one stage in bachelor degree or master. You have to continue. continue. By the, by the students in India, India will become the top country in the world. I am sure that. I, I am sure that. We hope uh, the co uh, cooperation. Uh, the cooperation between Oman and India in okay. and, and education. Now I know that many Oman students study in India and also uh, in Oman there are many professor, Indian professors teach in, in the top uh, university in Oman. For example, Sultan Qaboos University the top university there. You can find many Indian professors there. And, uh, so. so Indian students, they will get uh, more opportunities. More in, in the, in abroad, abroad. So, uh, to be honest with you, uh, you I learned from Indian students. I, I, what I say, I learn from them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. So, what are your future plans? Are you continuing your profession or are you planning to choose a different path now? Uh, and the future, I hope to educate my children very well. I would they get a good job in the future. And also, I hope to continue in my research. I hope to publish some papers in Ghana in the future. Uh, besides this, I wish to continue touch with CMS colleague. I hope to continue with my team in CMS colleague to publish papers in the future and I hope that there is co cooperation between um, the mathematics department in Oman in my college and uh, university and mathematics department in CMS Same. College. So we ho uh, in my plan also I, I will visit India in, in every summer vacation as possible to meet the, my friends to discuss about the new um, and new things in the new uh, our area with uh, operational research like that, inshallah. So you were here for nearly four years, I think. So have you learned Malayalam language or any few Malayalam words? Can you share with us? Yes, sir, yes. When I came here, my colleagues uh, tried to uh, taught me some words. I remember that, uh, for example, Victor Sinu, he learned me some words and also uh, Ms. Pilu. And I wrote some uh, notes, uh, words in my notes book. And then the, after uh, 
some days they ask me. Yeah. But unfortunately, I forget. Oh, yeah. I forget that. And also, I remember that Mr. Games uh, taught me one sentence. I remember that sentence. Like he said, every, every morning he told me, Meniscara, Meniscara, Meniscara. So I, I don't forget the sentence. <laughs> finally. That means I respect you. <laughs> yes. What's your opinion of a Kerala tradition? And is there any memorable place that you have visited in Kerala? I like Kerala. It's, uh, everywhere you can see the green trees, the very fars. I visited many places in, in Kerala. I visited uh, Pegamon, uh, Tekadi, I visited Munar, yeah. I visited Speech. I visited many places in Kerala, but I don't remember the names. But I visited, yes. Is there any food, sir? Favorite food? Yeah, I tried many, uh, many foods in here in Kerala. But I remember that uh, masala dosa is very nice, <laughs> very nice masala dosa. Yes. Thank you, sir. But I want to say that uh, my children know more than me in uh, Malayalam uh, okay. words. Uh, for example, chachi, ch 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 chachi, chachi. Chachi. That's for girls and chetan is for boys. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sir, we would like to know more about your family, your wife, your children. Can you share about them? Okay. My daughter, sorry, my wife is um, a student in IMCO College in, um, in Oman. Oh, okay. Yeah, she stopped studying because she came here. Oh. Um, she will continue her study to get bachelor degree in logistics, okay. inshallah. And my daughter, uh, I'm, I'm sure that my daughter is a very smart student. Alhamdulillah, she get the top grade in German in grade 10. She get the prize last uh, last uh, last Saturday. Yes. Yeah. I hope to study abroad in um, or in India. My uh, my son is uh, is also uh, is very intelligent. He likes uh, computers, oh. science. He, he likes the technology. Oh. I, inshallah. I have also my baby. My baby, uh, he studied in uh, Ebenezer Antony School in LKG last academic oh. year. Uh, he learned some things, some words. Uh, I, want to, I would like to tell you something. Last vacation, we, uh, we went to Oman for about two months. We okay. stayed there. And my baby, he thought that his country, India, not Oman. He asked me many times, we have to go back to our country, to home. Uh, he still told that his this country, because when he, when he, when he came, when we came to uh, India, he was one year. Oh. Now he complete about, uh, he will complete uh, next August, five years, inshallah. So, uh, we will miss uh, Indian, we will miss the people in Indian. Uh, I cannot express in the words how to feel. I learned many things here, but I will not forget the people. The people are very lovely, respect people, uh, very lovely. Yes, that's, uh, I will not forget. We will also miss you so much. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Tarifa, I meet you and make this interview for me. Thank you very much. And also I would like to, uh, to thank all the members of CMS College uh, and uh, Dr. Fargus Koshua, the principal of CMS College, and uh, Dr. Gosh, uh, um, and Professor Christian Murthy and Dr. Embley um, and the feast of the principal, um, Dr. Uh, Sino, Dr. Dania, uh, Grishma, Bilu, all my, uh, Mitha, I will forget some, but all these people in my heart. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much.